looked like you know, after the big shot at the Kraber, you kind of settled in there after that. It really looked like you, know, you were a lot more comfortable the rest of the ball game. How would you kind of describe the start and then how things kind of settled when you started making some down the shots? Um, I mean, I feel like I just started off slow. I, you know, I got a team better with that. And, um, you know, once I just I got that first first long throw in, I just, you know, it's just ball at that point. This video going around from when late in the game when you got caught on the Georgia sideline and Curtis Martin kind of gives you a shove. I guess, you know, what are your just kind of thoughts or reaction to, to what happened there? Man, not really, not really sure what that was, but now I was just trying to play my game. I, I didn't really see it for real, so. You've got some receivers out here that really seem to, to believe in you. I mean, how important is that for, you know, for a younger guy and a new guy to have the, the trust of the hockey? Oh, it's very important to know. I mean, that if I put it up, my guys are going to be the play. So, you know, it helps me to just keep doing it over and over again. And they just, they made a lot of plays for me tonight, so I'm, I'm very proud of them. When you think back on your experience, both at Texas and in this game, in, in, in tough environments against great teams, great crowds, and having that play from behind, uh, what are you going to take away in those in terms of this game? What would this have done for the development of the young team? Yeah, I feel like I just think we just got to start fast. No official sacks, and they had the one that was nullified by the penalty. But you know, what does that say about your offensive line? I mean, you go up against one of the best defensive fronts in the country and keep you up right all ball. Yeah, I mean, they played great tonight. Um, I was a bit proud of how they played. Uh, they kept me clean for most of the, for pretty much the whole time. So, I mean, it's, it's great to know that I got a line that's going to strength for me and that's going to block me. So. Your connection with uh, Kelly Akari seems to be really working on a couple of balls down the field. Obviously, he you know, missed the first week and just been dealing with injury. But you know, what's it like to you know, be able to find him and get him involved? Um, it was great. He made a lot of plays for me today. So I just you know, kept going back to him because I knew he was going to make a play. And you know, that's going to that's gonna help for you know down the line these next couple of games. So you know, I, got, I got a lot of trust in him now. So. Just to keep going to the script and crossing the competitors as soon as you come on behind your early game, but you seem to be cooking up on those and you guys making catches for you. Yeah, I mean, just we get more comfortable with it. This is me settling down in the game. That's why I, I got to do a better job of just, you know, being able to hit those right, right out of the gate. So. so what's just kind of the mental balance after, you know, a game like this where I want to, you guys lost five in a row, but on the other end, you know, maybe it feels like these last few games you guys are starting to make some improvements and play better despite still losing. You know, how does that kind of all just push into your head or, or you know, when you guys are getting on the plane? Yeah, it's just telling me that, you know, we got a lot more work to do, but I mean, we're going in the right direction. So, I mean, for these next, you know, we're going to be back and do it tomorrow. We got a lot of things to clean up from what happened today. And we're just going to build from there. I feel I'm proud of all my guys today. They fought their, fought their tail off. So, you know, we just got to build on that and get ready for Texas A&M. Thank you, Mark. What's good? How excited are you to kind of get home, play in front of your own fans? Your Cowboys bringing for you. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, it's going to be my first home start, so I'm very excited for that one. Hopefully, you know, you know the fans should pack up big wave, you know, so it'll be awesome. I'm for Texas A&M.